Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Cheeky Journals. Today we're doing another journal with me and I'm slowly catching up. I've still got a long way to go but we're getting there. I am planning today to work with watercolour and I am just taking a precaution with just sticking two of my pages together because I have had problems previously when I add wet medium or wet media to this paper it can bleed through especially if I've worked with a wet medium also on the previous page and on the previous page I used a lot of water with my tea staining and I'm also planning to use a lot of water on the back side of that page so just to avoid things bleeding through and um, making the paper a little bit stronger I'm sticking the two pages together so that's just a tip if you want to work with mediums that you think might bleed through or you're just not sure how they would react with your paper it's always clever to just stick two pages together just to protect your work on the previous page now i'm using some masking fluid you get masking fluid in different forms you get it in a bottle and you can apply it with a brush and then you also get it in a pen form or something like a similar to a tube that I'm using at this stage this is actually to refill the pen but um, I, they didn't have any of the pens at my local art supply store so I just grabbed this one the nib looked quite thin so I was able to achieve what I wanted to I think if you've got more control over the pen um, and with this I'll say you also have um, relatively good control over it. The pointy part is just maybe a little bit wider or a little bit bigger than I would say the pen would be. So you just have to be careful because the first time you start off it makes like a little bit of a bubble. But I just sort of dab that off on a piece of paper towel and then I start drawing with it and I try and keep it um, down as I'm going just to avoid the bubble forming again if that makes any sense so if you want to be very precise I would say go with a pen this is a very the tube that I'm using is a very good um, secondary one and if you want to be more loose with the masking fluid I would suggest going with the bottle and applying it with a brush because you're gonna have essentially a little bit less control unless you've got um, wicked brush skills which I don't have at this stage so after I have just made my little design on the paper with the masking fluid I will leave it for I would say 20 30 minutes uh, maybe it's, it dries even quicker I'm sure it will be dry in 15 minutes maybe it just depends where you live and the humidity that you've got but basically just wait until the masking fluid's completely dry so just touch it around and make sure as soon as it's dry I am applying a lot of water onto the paper first because I want the watercolor to basically flow around mix nicely together and just give me like a mottled effect i have mainly chosen dark colors on this page because if you are using masking fluid i mean you can use any colors that you like but you get the most striking appearance when you start using dark colors and i have mostly used uh, blues pinks and purples to create this i think i used mainly indigo ultramarine violet i think it was and some cobalt turquoise so as soon as the watercolor is completely dry then you can just rub off the masking fluid now i do apologize for the shakiness but um unfortunately this is the only way i can get off the masking fluid is by rubbing it so hopefully you won't get too sick watching it you also get a rubber that you can use to get the masking fluid off i've never used it but i saw it and apparently you just um use the rubber to get the masking fluid off if you don't want to use your fingers because you do have some oils and 
things on your fingers so that can influence the paper but I mean I'm just working in a journal this is not an art piece that I'm trying to sell so I don't mind using my fingers it comes off pretty easily um, just by rubbing over it and I've decided to also work on the second page because I know that I want to add a pamphlet and I was thinking of tipping it in on the previous page but this journal is getting quite thick so I thought it would just going to be better to stick it in and also it's not going to cover up too much. So I'm going to do this page too for the pamphlet and I know that I just want to create a border here on the side because the pamphlet will mostly be um, covering the rest of the paper. So I'm just continuing there with the masking fluid and the second time um, that I'm using it I've got more control over it because I've just learned the little tricks with it and it's coming out much easier and I've got more control over it. So the more you work with it the better you get. I've waited again for it to dry completely and I'm just adding some clean water onto my page. Now I think I was a little bit silly here. I don't know why I didn't stick those two pages together because yet again I'm going to make the page quite wet and use watercolor. So I do get a little bit of bleed through onto the other side but it's not a train smash. You will see when I go back to my previous page that the leaf picture that I did there with the masking fluid is not as white as it should be or as it was before I started doing this. It's just because I've wet the back side of the paper and the front side and it just becomes a bit too much for the paper to handle. So I've realized it at that stage when I turned it around. So you know you can do things like that that's quite silly like I've just stuck the two pages together on the previous page and yeah I haven't done it but it's not the end of the world because I actually don't mind it bleeding through a little bit because you can't really tell until you're like looking up close and looking for those little things but otherwise it's completely fine so if you want to have a close-up this is how it turned out so as you can see the marks there were quite white and on this side you can see some of that blue popping through it's just my journal and that's how you learn is by doing these things so I'm quite happy with how it turned out for my first time using masking fluid and I'm hoping to just get more control over it and play around with it but I actually like it if the lines are a little bit raggedy and it didn't come out too perfectly because I love that look. So I am recording a memory today that happened last year. We just um, went around the city to a few shops and I actually grabbed this card from a shop. Love the design from it. So I wanted to add it to this page and I thought the color palette with the watercolor goes beautifully. So I'm just layering it with some craft paper and also a little label sticker that I've added there at the top and I'm going to I'm planning to add my date there. I'm just using a wet glue because it's easier to move it around and it's also a it's made out of a very heavy cardstock and I just find it works easier with that to stick it. I am also adding some photos because on this day I actually stumbled across an art supply store, went in and of course I couldn't resist it so I got some Ecoline markers and also some Ecoline liquid watercolour.
so this is an american crafts die cut set that i've got and i've just um put all of them in this plastic container so i'm going to go through it and just stick a few things down that i feel will finish off that little collage so this is the pamphlet that i want to attach to this page um, we also went for a walk in the melbourne gardens and i want to include the map so it's just quite bulky and it doesn't really fit in properly so i went to my paper cutter and i've just cut some pieces off made it smaller and i've rounded the corners i'm gonna attach it with uh, this double-sided tape and i did by accident actually cut off a top part of it i don't know if you'll be able to pick that up but i managed to fix it with some tape, which i didn't i thought it didn't come out too badly you can't tell really but as soon as i open up this pamphlet you'll be able to tell because you can see there's that line there at the top but it's not the end of the world you know i'm just going with the flow here so on the map i'm just going to um decorate it a bit and stick another one of these um labels i absolutely love them i have a pack and i've got four different colors i think it's blue black red no i think that's all blue black and red and i really love using them so i've just stuck that down and then with um a damo labeler it's those computerized ones i've just typed out a word exploring and printed that off and i've just added that to the label and i'm gonna lay my photo sort of over it and then i've also got some little uh, magazine cutouts that i found from a daphne's diary and I love these little houses and I thought the colors just go so well with this map and I just wanted to make it a little bit more inviting and add a little bit of my own things onto the map so I'm just putting them down with some glue and I really like how it actually turned out and I was at first very upset with myself for cutting that top part of the map off but I think it gives it some character so it's something that I will always remember and just have a laugh. So I'm going back into this American Crafts pack and I'm just looking for something else to add on to the map that I've added. And I ended up going with this cute little card that says one more memory for the road. And I am using some of this washi tape. It's like a brown measurement washi tape and i've just um wanted to keep it very ruggedy so i've just torn it off i didn't want to like have those clean cut edges and i'm just sticking it over there this die cut that i'm putting down now is from a kaiser craft pack and i know it's from the one that's called open road if you're looking for it and i'm just sticking that sort of over it this is just a white Posca pen and I've decided to do the date on it and just add some dots to give it some sparkly bits and the reason I've added the date on there is just so that I can remember that these two entries sort of go together since I'm using three pages. I um, just thought that um, would work well and this is also a stamp set by Kaiser Craft and i'm going to do the date there but unfortunately they've only got one two in the set so i had to just stamp the two down there again and i think that is basically what i'm doing to this page i'm just going to be adding my words now and i really encourage you if you haven't tried masking flirt before go get some and try it out it's super fun and don't worry if your drawings don't come out perfectly because it's not unless you have really practiced with it or you're just very talented in a natural form but don't worry about that because really it's fun and the whole thing just comes together in the end even with those wonky lines and it gives it more character so i hope you've enjoyed this video have a great day and i'll see you soon bye